But the biggest difference and why I think was willing to shell out, you know, $140 of my own money for this filter. And this is a, a from Breakthrough. Um, you can get them from them. You can get them on Amazon, whatever, uh, whatever you prefer, um, is that these have even better coatings and they're hydrophobic. So let me show you a little bit about what happens. So I've got my eyedropper here, little Mr. Wizard time um, here in my office. And I'm just going to put a drop of water on this filter. Okay. And I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Get it in there. See, it kind of just smears around a little bit. And when I try to wipe this off, it's, it's going to smear like that. And the same thing is true with my, with my Nikon filter, which is, like I said, is a good filter. It's not like it's, it's bad. But when I put the water drop on there, it just kind of smears itself a little bit. See that? Okay. And what I found was when I was shooting in Oregon at a waterfall, where there was all this spray hitting us, is that not only was my filter getting covered with spray, but wiping it off was a real pain because it just smeared. It wouldn't, it wouldn't remove. Now, let me show you the same thing with my breakthrough filter. Put that water drop on there. Look at this. It's got a hydrophobic coating. And this little water beads right up. And if I want to wipe it off, I just wipe it off and there is no smearing.